All right, we're going to look at lesson 52. I am not a huge fan of the way that this textbook teaches this, but the reality is this is how every textbook teaches it. So I'm going to just bite my tongue and do it the way that everyone else does it. And then later I will show you a way that I believe is easier, um, only because it may not always match up the way your textbook does. does. So for this lesson, we're going to do it textbook way. Later, when it gets a little more complicated, we're going to learn another way to do it. So this is lesson 52, adding and subtracting polynomials. So normally, when we are adding polynomials, um, we can only add like terms. And they're presented to you this way. Um, and we have already talked about this, that if there is nothing... Well, first of all, the set of parentheses means that if there's work to be done on the inside, we have to do that first. Um, we can't do anything inside of these parentheses because they don't match. Remember, x squared is not the same value as x. So nothing matches. So what we would have done in the past is look on the outside, and if there's nothing on the outside, the parentheses just drop. If there's a positive on the outside, the parentheses just drop because mathematically what we, what we would be doing is distributing a positive 1. And anything times positive 1 is the same thing. So that wouldn't change anything. Um, but the way this lesson does it, and like I said, every textbook does this, so we're going to do it. They rewrite it on top of each other. And again, those parentheses are there. But because there is um, nothing outside of this set, those parentheses go away. This plus outside of this set means those parentheses just go away. And so your textbook wants you to write them, and I believe it already does it for you on the lesson. My teacher book is slightly different, but it's just going to be written as an addition problem uh, on top of each other vertically, I mean horizontally versus vertically. And now because it's matched up, I can just add like terms. And the reason that I don't care for this method is because this only works if everything inside of the parentheses match the other set of parentheses. When they don't match, this method doesn't work. So we are going to do it for this lesson because it, everything's going to match in this lesson. So now we just add down. 1 plus 2 is, well, what's on the left? 2x squared plus x. Don't forget the understood 1. x plus x is 2x. 1 plus 2 is 3. And there's your answer. Now, for these ones that everything matches, this method is way simpler. It doesn't take as much brain power. But like I said, it doesn't work all the time. But for this lesson, we're going to make it work. We're going to do it. Now, when we're subtracting polynomials, it's a little bit different. Well, really, only one thing is different. Um, they still want you to rewrite it ver vertically like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to remember, I can't do anything inside the parentheses because nothing matches. Nothing outside of this set of parentheses means those parentheses just go away. But in this case, there's a negative or a minus, and a minus and a negative are the same thing. That minus is going to affect everything inside of here. And what you're going to do, mathematically, what you're doing is distributing a negative 1. And negative 1 times anything changes the sign of that thing. So <clears throat> we're going to subtract this whole set of parentheses. So what that does is it changes the sign of everything inside of that second set of parentheses. The top one, there's nothing outside, so nothing changes in that one. The bottom one has a negative outside of it, so the sign of everything changes. And now we're just going to work down again 2x, mi 2x squared, I'm sorry, minus x squared is 1x squared x minus x is 0. It goes away. I can write plus 0, but I don't need to. And for me, it would be fine. But if you were to go in and take like a college entrance exam or an SAT or something, they would probably count that wrong. So if it's gone, it's just gone. 1 minus 2 is negative 1 or minus 1. So there's my answer. The thing is, your textbook is already going to have it written. I'm going to just write it with my pen. And uh, my handwriting is going to be worse than normal because I sliced my thumb open. So, um, your textbook is already going to present it like this. 
It's already going to be written vertically. What you're going to have to pay attention to is if there's a minus outside, I need to change the sign. So this minus is going to affect everything inside of this parenthesis. There's nothing outside on the top, so it's going to stay. Everything on the bottom is going to change signs. So my kids are coming in now. They're going to be noisy. Sorry about that. And now we just work vertically. Oops, I forgot my squared. 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared. Remember, because we're adding, the stuff that we're adding doesn't change. Just how many of those things we have changes. So the x squared stays. Minus 5x or negative 5x plus 3x. If you have your calculator, you're not confident in it, just type it in. Um, if you don't have your calculator, remember different signs. We subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. And we keep the sign from the bigger number. 3 minus 1 is 2. And this is going to be my complete answer. So these are not very hard at all. Just remember if there's a negative outside, the sign of everything has to change. Not just the first term, but all three terms inside of that set of parentheses. For homework, you're going to do all of lesson 52. So there's, I think, five activities. Act classwork, one, activity two is this. And then activity three, four, and five is a slight review from last week. So we're going to do all of lesson 52 as a bit of a review as well as our new stuff.